family tradition for over 10 generations. Every woman married into this family has to work on these white wrappers. It signifies good luck, happy marital life, and forbid barrenness. I guess this is what we call it a night. I guess it is. Thank you for everything. It actually turned out better than I expected. Um, so you have a good night, Miss. You too. All right. <sighs> Dream, but it felt so real. Calm down, it's just a dream. Sis, we need to talk. Okay, I'm all ears. Can you call off your wedding plans with Jason? So what? Why would you even say something like that? Who is it? Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? Are you all right? It's me, Jason, your sister's fiancé. So what? Fortunately, you two are not married yet. Demi. Okay, what is going on here? Hey. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. She's been acting weird for some time now. Yeah, I was starting to feel it. Like I was at the wrong house and talking to a different person. I'm sorry. I guess she just needs to take some time off. I... I wasn't expecting you. Yeah, um... <laughs> I have good news. News? Why are you looking at me like that? This news will blow your mind and it's going to make your day. Okay, I want to hear it. Amy, what was the meaning of that? Why would you act so childish and rude? Jason is my fiance. You shouldn't have spoken to him like that. What is your problem? You are my problem. Okay. 
You are the one I am trying to protect. But it's just so sad that you're carried away by love that you can't just see the, the, the danger you're about to get yourself involved in. Damien, it was a dream. None of it is real. This is more than just a dream. Can't you see it's already happening? What is happening? The house! The one he came to tell you about. Remember I told you it was a gift and it's a new house. Gifted to you both as a wedding gift. So? So can't you see? Can't you see it's all adding up and it's becoming clearer? Okay. I think you are overthinking these things, okay? It's just a mere coincidence. You still have time to call off the wedding with Jason. And trust me, it will be the right thing to do. Are you kidding me? Call off a wedding that is scheduled for the weekend? It's just three days away. Listen, I know you have this hyperactive imagination, but please, stop being ridiculous. Come, sis, can't you see? This is more than just an imagination. Bad things are going to happen if you marry Jason. Come on, you won't deny the fact that I am gifted with dreams. And you keep letting the dream control your actions and thoughts. Stop overthinking these things, please. It's a message, a warning. You can't just ignore it. Okay, that's it. Can we just stop with the dreams, messages, whatever? I want to spend the rest of my life with Jason. That's what I want. I love him, okay? I love him. And he's not going to hurt me. Fine. But just know that I'm only trying to protect you, okay? And I hope you do the right thing. So you don't just end your life all in the name of love and marriage. Jesus Christ, Damien. Okay, I got it, I got it. We're here. We are here. We are here. Baby! Yes, I know. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Baby, look at this. I can't believe this is ours, baby. This, this is like this. a dream come true. It's so beautiful, babe. Yes. <gasps> Ooh. So relaxing. All right. <laughs> Look at this open kitchen, baby. baby. This is lovely. Wow, oh and it's God. so spacious. I love this place. Look at this. Yes, that's my toy. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Always ready for you. <laughs> you know what? what? Take me a picture right now. Picture. Mm -hmm. picture right now? I want a picture right now. You're not the best little photo. I know. <laughs> oh, baby, this want, is baby. so beautiful. This is, this, is, this is to let you know that our marriage is divine. <sighs> Wait. Where's that? Oh, my goodness. Baby, this is so beautiful. Babe. This is really beautiful. It's it's like it's it's telling a story. A story of a child or something. You mean our child? Mm -mm. Children. Oh, <laughs> Lots children. of them. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna have the first one on this snook table. No, I want it over there. On the couch? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll start from here and then finish there. Okay, and then we go there. <laughs> Just look at it right here. Okay. Right here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yes. <laughs> You're so naughty. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm. I promise that this will be the start to a beautiful journey. I believe you, baby. It's going to be a fresh start. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Well, I love this house. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, baby! <laughs> Where are you going? We're gonna start it right here. <laughs> right here, baby. <laughs> Babe, you scared me. 
Why are you sitting like that? You're supposed to be sleeping. You know, I'm just here thinking of how lucky I am to be married to such a beautiful woman like you. Oh, I, I feel blessed and lucky to have you too. I mean, we're lucky to have each other. Yes. We are so lucky to have each other. You know, there's so many ways that we can appreciate ourselves. So this was your plan? Yeah. <laughs> Sis, madam, how far? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, I'm good. Just worried about you. I mean, I could not sleep all night. I don't understand. Why are you worrying? You don't have to worry. While you were worrying about me, I was having the best time of my life. <laughs> Spare me all of that. It is bad child. <laughs> You're calling your married sister a bad child. Say that to me the next time you see me. <laughs> well, I am glad everything went well. So I guess my worry is over then. Yeah, of course. But then you owe Jason an apology. He's been worried since you said that to him. Uh, I know, right? But he will understand why I felt that way then. Anyways, talk to him yourself. I hope he understands. Wait, you mean you have not told him? No, why would I? You had the dream, not me, so... Damn. He must have seen me as a mentally unstable human being. I mean, one moment I'm the most sweetest sister-in-law. And just a few days to the wedding, I am asking my sister to call up the wedding with him. I know, right? But you know, Jason is a rational person, so just talk to him. I'm sure he would understand. Anyway, I'm glad everything is fine, okay? I will see you during the week. I mean, I can't come now. It's too early and I don't want to ruin the moment. I beg, don't even come. You push allow me to enjoy my husband to edge all. Anyway, my regards to your husband, okay? Yes, I'll tell him. And I like that. Your husband. <laughs> come on, be going. I shall woo. <laughs> bye, sis. I love you. Come on, be going. <laughs> I beg, bye bye. <laughs> hey, voila. Who's that? That was Damien. Oh. Baby, uh, don't be like that. She had a reason for doing what she did. Well, tell me about it. She will tell you about it when she comes visiting. So for now, let me enjoy my husband. <laughs> I love you. And I love you more. You're lying. I don't believe that. What you mean? What? 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 <laughs> what?
Hey, what's wrong? He looked... He looked troubled. They just laid me off. I lost my job. The MD just asked me to leave. The same MD that told you that you were going to get a promotion? That's why I'm surprised. I was expecting a promotion letter, not a sack letter. But did he tell you why? Did he give you any reason? Telling me that they are downsizing. I know it's not true. Someone is hiding something. They just don't want me there. Why would you think of a thing like that? Why wouldn't I? If they're truly downsizing, how come I am the only one that lost the job? What? Someone is not telling me something. Someone is just hiding something. Why me? Why just me? I'm sorry, okay? Sorry about all of this. Don't let it weigh you down. We'll figure something out. And there's something I'd like to tell you. Babe, something strange happened today. I was I was cooking and then I, I felt a presence. It was like it was like spirits or something. I don't know, but they attacked me, babe. They attacked me and I, I didn't see them, but I felt I felt their presence. Babe, I just lost my job. I'm coming home, you're telling me about how the spirits attacked you? Are you serious? Baby, I cannot take another bad news. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I, whew, I'm really sorry. Let's just, you know, figure out how we're going to get through all of this. Yes, I, I need to figure out how to get back on my feet because I have to provide for us. Look at me. We're in this together, okay? We'll figure something out. Is there food? I'm, I'm very, very hungry. Uh, yeah, I I was trying to make... But it's okay. Are I'll you just, crying? No. Why are you crying? Babe, I'm okay. I'll just get you something. What is that? Yeah, I don't want to stress you. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Please just um You can't escape your chest. <laughs> My 
I, uh, I can't seem to shake this off. This house is haunted by ghosts. The spirits of those two girls hover around this house. They are here watching us. Have you talked to Owen about this? Ironically, she was the one that brought my attention to it, but I thought she was being delusional. Anytime she brings it up, I brush it off. But now I see it. They are here. She was right. Then we have to take this seriously. To think I, Maya, was the one in your dream calls for serious concern. Like, how is that even possible? We're cousins. How? I think I have an idea. If the house is the problem, why don't you just sell it? It was a gift from your dad. So? If the house is the issue, do away with it. That is not the right thing to do. Who said so, Jason? Do you know how many gifts I have sold? When I don't need it, I do away with it. Look, I just need something that works. Okay, that's all I need. Why don't you do an exorcism? Why didn't I think of that? But I don't know anyone that can help us drive these spirits away. How do we find someone that can help us? I may know someone. I know this, this renowned spiritual man that I saw his advert in the magazine. Okay. And I think if we bring him in, he can also help us send these girls away. Please, Maya, I want you to do everything and anything you can to reach out to this person. Because I cannot continue to live like this. I constantly feel their presence. I will. And once I do, I'll get back to you. I just hope you can help us do something. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Jason. Oh, this, this is just frustrating. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Relax, Jason. This man came here you recommended. The person who recommended him to me said he has done it for all five families before. What about the one you saw his advert in the magazine? I heard it's fake. What? Yes. It's fake. Hey, hey. Do not fear. Are you fearing? Uh -huh. And do not doubt the power of our almighty Allah. Uh -huh. Hey. I will send out every evil spirit on every four corner of this building. Do not worry. Inshallah. We will send them out. Eh? Uh -uh. 
Where are you going? Are you deaf? Maya. Eh? You can't just leave. Don't tell me, don't tell me that. Eh? Maya. Uh, my what? Maya. Ah. Maya! there Please come in. Yeah, this way, please. Yeah. Is that a problem? Hey! Oh, shoot. Hey! Ah, madam, what's my tail? Oh, I've noticed those strange things. Talk to me! Uh, it's, it's, it's been really weird from objects moving on their own to us being attacked by kids. Yes, and we also experienced a whole meal being cooked that we didn't even know how. I understand. It is the spirit of Abiku. Mm. Sorry, what is Abiku? Hey! Oh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me. Give me. Mm. I receive. There are children that die few days or one year that they were born. But they go back to the world to repeat the same cycle. But we <clears> don't <throat> know these kids. <throat> what has this madness got to do with us? That is what we want to find out. Mm. Hey, Emmanuel! Oh, sorry! Emmanuel! Please. Hey! Get mm. from this chair. Kneel down. Knee down for prayers. Knee down, knee down, knee down, knee down! Can you feel that? Now, my God, Jehovah! Hey, obvious. Something is right. Jesus! Be gone, spirits! Leave this house! I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. For what? I said I don't have to do this. Hey! Just like that. Just uh, hey, my two. Hey, what are we going to do? We, we can't just give up. We have to uh, uh, hello, baby. Hey, baby. Hello. Uh, hello.
I rebuke these little devils in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, wherever they are coming from, I use the blood of Jesus to send them back in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as you said, I come to you as your son. With this anointing oil, O Lord, Father, as I anoint myself, these devils can never touch me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I anoint myself in the mighty name of Jesus. These devils cannot touch me. Wherever you are, Lord, Father, help me. Help me rebuke these devils in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God. Father. Oh Father, I come against you. You little devils, I come against you. I rebuke. Holy Bible. Father, they can never touch me. I am your anointed. Father, you can never touch me, oh Lord. wherever you came from. Go back to wherever you came from in the mighty name of Jesus. No, 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 not me. I bind you with this Bible and this anointed oil. I send you back. I send you back. I'm sorry, please. Don't, don't kill me. I'm so sorry. Please. to help me relax. I just want to get those 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 things out of my house and, and, and out of my life. We will do whatever it takes to make it happen. How? Everything we tried has failed. Then we won't give up, okay? It's either we keep trying or you will have to leave the house for them. So which one is it going to be? Honestly, at this point, I don't mind sleeping on the streets. Oh, I really on. don't mind. Come on. We both know you don't want that. I'm just tired of everything. The whole thing went south the moment we moved into that house. We shouldn't have accepted it. Sis, why don't you sell the house 
and use the proceeds to get another one. Trust me, the house will be highly valued and there's a lot you can do with the money you make. Do you mean we talked about this thing? The attempt with the exorcist is just to find a way to get these things out of our house. Clearly those things are more powerful than you can ever imagine. And it seems like they won't stop until they destroy your home. Gosh, this is evil. <laughs> they are possessed, they don't care. I didn't plan for any of this. I didn't hope for all of this, I didn't. I hate to say this, but I warned you. Jason is not trying to kill me. But all these are happening because you married him. Okay. It's done already. <laughs> the head is already off. Luckily, your head is still on your neck. So you still have the opportunity to leave. Leave while you still can. Okay? <sighs> Demi, this is for better or worse. I am not leaving my husband. Jason is also a victim. But there's no what. Please. We'll fight this together. I'm not leaving him. Give me a moment. You don't want this? I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I just don't want anything. I know why you have come. The solution you seek is a brick wall. There is no any help in sight. The land your house rests on, the solution you seek is a brick wall. There is no any help in sight. The land your house rests on as a secret, a dark history that can never be ignored. Um, what secret? The land has an haunting past. It is not only the resting place of the girls, it is also where many families met their untimely end. How? There were countless stories of many families. These families were taken by unspeakable forces. The girls are part of this family. And since then, their spirit lingers and are unable to find peace in the afterlife. Okay, um, what can we do? I mean, how do we escape this curse? There is no way out. What? Can't they just go? They can't. It will always cross their mind. As it is only rational thing to do. But they will never be able to do it. I see your husband is trying to sell the house. 
<laughs> Most people will be interested, but none of them will be able to seal the deal. Okay. What, what must we do? You must embark on a journey. Dig deep into the past. Through this, you can break the cycle of torment and bring an end to the restless spirit. Okay, so what should we look for? They know you are here. They know you are here. Oh. There is a frame. There is a frame in your house. There is a frame. To be here. This is how you people keep coming. To Mr. Jason Okbara, we sincerely apologize for wrongly laying you off from the company. After reviewing your performance and contributions, we have decided to offer you the position of an assistant gentleman. What? Oh my word. I can't believe this. Hey! Wow. 
You know, it feels like a whole different place. Yeah. The room was just as we left it. It feels so peaceful. Like they've moved on. Like they have found their rest. Our family can be normal again. <sighs> Come here. I hope so. It's been really difficult. Yeah. I don't know why we would have to suffer for something we know absolutely nothing about. I really hope you're gone for good. Yeah. What's today? Friday. I know today is Friday. I mean, what's today's date? 12th of August. Holy shit, babe! It's our anniversary. Happy one year anniversary, baby. Oh my god. I can't believe it's one year already. Yeah. This is year of our lives. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you go through all of this because of me. Hey, you didn't do anything. You don't have to apologize, okay? It's for better or worse, remember? Some women would have left. Well, some people would have died or lost their minds, but we're still here fighting this together. That's why I love you. So, would you like something to drink? Of course, I would like something to drink. It's our anniversary, so why not? Well, <laughs> I was prepared for it. So. Okay, you got me, Terry. I'll hook you up. You got me emotional. Emotional, <laughs> garbage! It's just memories of our big day a year ago. I remember every moment like it was yesterday. You know what? What? That was the best day of my life. Despite all the problems we've been going through, I still don't regret it. You know, the challenges we face, the hurdles we jump keeps bringing us together. If I had the opportunity, I would marry you over and over again. <laughs> marry you just once is never enough. We should make this day very special. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, you know, we missed a lot of moments a few months ago. So, I was thinking we should relive them. Okay. So where are we going? Just leave that to me. <laughs> really? Did you really ask me that? Okay. No, sir. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I love you even more. And more. Oh, I love you more and more and more. I love you more and more. And more and more and more. I love you more and more. <laughs> I love you more and more and more. Whew. Babe. Remember when cooking was a nightmare? <laughs> I'm just flying around and <laughs> voices in the punch. Crazy times. But what's even more crazy was when they made my favorite meal. <laughs> and you ate it. It was nice. You should have had a taste. Nice? Yes. Are you saying they cook better than you? Maybe. You and I know that's not what I'm saying. I'm only saying it tastes nice. I mean, it was two of them. Why don't you just take up the cooking and I do the cleaning? <laughs> they were kids. That's child labor. Those were not kids. <laughs> they were ancestors. <laughs> oh, guys, we think we can make jokes about all of these yeah. things. Gosh. They thought they could break us. But we're too strong for them. Like immortals. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, for a minute I thought we were immortal. <laughs> Clearly we're not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. Babe, this too is giving everything. Yeah, I can smell it from here. If you taste it. Thanks to me. You would remember the first day you met me. Mm. And what I did to you in the first day. And it <laughs> yes. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> You're so naughty, you know that. Right? What was that? I thought we were immortals. <laughs> Clearly, we're not. Baby! Yes, baby! Babe! Babe, I'm here! Oh! Is this true? <laughs> I'm two months gone. What? <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! Two months! Babe, easy stop! What? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> This is the best news ever. I know. You know, I was beginning to get worried. That I can't conceive? No. You know the question about my fertility? Babe, the doctor said 42%. There's no question whether you're fertile or not. That is very low. He mentioned it himself. But right now, <laughs> I have absolutely nothing to worry <laughs> about. <laughs> I'm going to be a father. You are going to be a father. Yes. And you're going to be the best dad in the world. And you're going to be an awesome mother. I'm nervous. <laughs> what? Baby, you're going to be fine. Are you sure? Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. A baby girl. A baby boy. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. You know, this feels like a dream come true. Maybe we are about to become parents. Have our own little miracle. This is it's a beautiful blessing. Mm -hmm. I really can't wait to hold my baby in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine our mini adventure. Mm -hmm. Exploring the world like we've always dreamt. You know, I want him to inherit your fearlessness. He? Mm -hmm. Did you do a gender scan on our baby? Babe, I've always known that my first child will be a boy. Okay. So how? How, how do you know? You want to bet? Is there something I should know? Maybe I just know these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... I'm not concerned about the gender. I just want a healthy, happy baby. Well, true. That's all that matters. Be it a boy or girl. Now, cheers <clears throat> to our little family, to a future full of laughter, love, with a series <laughs> of adventures. <laughs> to our baby, the greatest adventure. Cheers again. Now back to the gender. No, we're not having a boy. We're having a girl. Oh.
Hello, sir. Right now? Okay, uh, I'll stop parking. Okay. I'll be expecting a reference code. All right. Bye. trying to reach you but you're not taking my calls so I decided to send you this voice note. The trip to Abuja came in earlier than expected and I have to leave ASAP. I'll be away for three weeks though it feels like a year already. Um, I want you to take care of yourself and our little princess growing inside of you. I miss you so much. And always remember that I love you. Honestly, I didn't think you were going to be gone for too long. I was thinking it was just going to be for like a week. <laughs> I'm honestly not prepared for your absence like this. Ah! <clears throat> was what? Nothing, I felt a sharp pain. I just bent to pick up the frame that fell on the floor. <laughs> Please don't remind me of those awful days. This house is free from those spirits. Mary's been calm. I mean, she started to act up the moment I, I got in, but it's okay. I'm fine, and baby's fine. I guess she's just missing Dada. <laughs> I'm sure she can hear that. I love you too. Okay. I miss you, and baby misses you as well. Kisses. <sighs> you miss daddy? <laughs> and you, how did you fall?
So how is she now? Were you able to save the baby? How is my sister doing now? Demi, I'm sorry, Demi Lade. Your sister suffered a miscarriage. But we are doing everything we can to stabilize her. I need you to calm down while my team takes care of her. Doctor, please, can I go and see her? I need to be with her right now. Please, Doctor. I understand how difficult this can be. But let's focus on providing the best medical care that we can. We will keep you updated as this unfolds. Ah, <sighs> God, please save her. God, please. Please, God. We are doing everything we can. Thank you, Thank you Doctor. Sure, sure. Difficult time. Only I'm truly sorry for your loss. No one wants this to happen. Your body needs time to heal, and it's important that you prioritize rest and avoid anything that could cause additional stress. I would advise you see a counselor. I don't need a counselor, doctor. Are you sure? Counseling can provide a valuable support during this challenging period. Demi, I'm counting on you to help her here during this time since she doesn't need a counselor. Make sure she has enough rest and help her through this difficult time. I understand you, Doctor. I will make sure she rests very well and also give her all the support that she needs. I will also keep in touch with you to keep you posted on her progress so far. Thank you, Dami. And I'll be here whenever she's ready to see a counselor. Oi, what we need to be talking about right now is how to go to that house, pack your things, and fight for a divorce. Divorce? On what ground? Threats to life, restlessness, anything. You almost lost your life. But I did not. Oh, so we should wait for you to die first, Abby? That's not what I'm saying. Listen, Jason is also a victim. He had to pause his training just to come home when I told him about the miscarriage. Well, he didn't have a choice, okay? He did what every man would do. Not every man would do that. Maybe cost men won't. Oh, yeah. If you had lost your life, do you know that Jason will only mourn you for a couple of weeks or maybe a month? Then he will move on and marry another lady. Okay, so what's your point? My point here is you do not suffer for what you know nothing about. Remember what the doctor said. You don't need anything that will stress you. Okay? And going back into that haunted house will only do what it does to you. Torment you. You still don't get it, do you? Jason needs me and I need you to be alive. I need you to stay alive, okay? Why don't you just sell the house? Leave the house, move out of the house, abandon it! You had the exorcist. We can't leave. And I believe without any doubt, okay? I see how the spirits are, are, are trying to get you back into the house. <sighs> Damien, I need my husband. Okay, just please stop trying to push him away. I'm only doing the right thing, okay? Don't be hypnotized not to see it. <sighs> Demi, how could you take away my wife? We need each other more now than ever. How could you do this? I dare you to show yourselves! You think you're so powerful? You think you can make us suffer like this? Well, if you're so powerful, why don't you show yourselves and let's settle this once and for all?
cowards. Cowards, that is what you are. You are little cowards. You hide in the shadows and scare innocent people and run back like little mice. You think I'm afraid of you? Well, newsflash, I am not afraid of you! You might have taken our happiness away for now, but I swear to you, I will fight! I will fight for my wife, for myself, for our future! And I will not rest until I conquer you! Show yourself, goddammit! I'm tired of this. I am so tired. Show your freaking selves. Shit. Tell us much. <laughs> Who are you? You want to play? What do you want from me? Shit. You want to take your soul, you take your soul. You love a slow and turn slow and turn five Just like the body, just like the body, just like the body. I have not done anything to deserve any of this. You have done. You live on our resting place. You live on our resting place. Build your big man. You 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 It's me. Wait, wake up. Babe? Yeah, it's me. Hey. I'm back. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry that you lost the baby. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh, shh, shh. That's okay. Alright, you don't have to apologize. None of it is your fault. <gasps> I can't believe we lost the baby. It's okay. I can't, I can't believe we lost the baby. I'm here now. Let's fight this together. I was in our room and 
we were having a conversation and then all of a sudden his eyes just just turned somehow I I, I can't explain it and he tried to struggle me no no way Oi. this is the exact same dream that I had what same room same horrifying scene what were the odds now yes just now oh goodness I I don't know but how can we have the same dream at the same time this is not me this this is more than a dream this is a message what are we going to do I don't know I don't know I'm glad you two have returned. Um, <clears throat> we had a very strange dream. We couldn't just ignore it. What made it weird was that it was the same dream. The exact same dream. We really need your help. And we are ready to end this right now. Dreams can be powerful messengers. But... I'm glad you're here. Let's dig deep into this. The spirits of the sisters are bound to your home and are trapped by powerful force. We need to find a way to release them. But there is a way to release them and bring peace back into your home. There is a frame in your house the one that has an image of a stack. You must find a way to destroy it. I, I know that frame. I know that frame. That's my husband's favorite frame. <laughs> he was hypnotized to like it. I will give you a water from the Dead Sea. You must find a way to sprinkle that water on the frame. Once you are able to do this, you have succeeded. We do whatever it takes to get rid of that frame and yeah. get rid of those girls. Yes, right. Anything. Anything just to destroy that frame. I'm tired of the suffering. But remember, you must do this without your husband. Because he is spiritually weak and vulnerable to do this task with you. If you want this to be possible. Um, so, what should we do? Make sure you do it when he's not at home. Okay. He must not know about this. Okay. Wait for the water. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We truly appreciate this. Yeah. Wait for the water. Um. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in the name of everything that is good and pure. I cleanse this house of your presence. I release your soul from this earthly realm. We must stay strong and stick together. We can do this. Do it! <laughs> we will make sure you guys suffer for this foolishness. Oh, 
my house. <laughs> 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 You know, it has been an incredible journey so far. From the darkness we faced and the light that shines around us now. I'm so grateful we're at peace now. I mean, this house feels safe and full of love. I'm proud of you, baby. Yes. You faced your fears on and together we won this war. Now look at us. We have created a beautiful life for ourselves. And none of this would have happened without you or Demi Lade. I will forever be grateful to both of you. Babe, we did this together. Hmm? You gave us hopes that this would pass. None of this would have happened without you. We're a team, baby. We're a team. Always remember that. <laughs> Of course. No matter what <laughs> challenges that comes, we will face it together. Together. Yeah. Just one second. Oh. Hello to the best sis ever. <laughs> okay, Jason will be there right away. <laughs> okay, go get it, Dora. Baby. I'm pregnant. Go. Move. <laughs> Lizzie, yes, go, 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 go. <laughs> Babe, go. I thought you guys were okay. No, no. Yeah, we're good, but. <laughs> <laughs> Take your lazy self up. Oh, God, you stress me and my baby. Ah. <laughs> lazy ass. Yes. in the world. <laughs> <sighs> baby.